Hey my cookies, today we are going to be making my Creole chicken and sausage gumbo. Let's cook. Next we need to brown our smoked sausage. Traditionally, andouille sausage is used in this gumbo, but I don't like pork, so I'm just using my favorite. Use your favorite. And once we brown them, have a little color, get them to release that grease, go ahead, remove them, set them aside. In that same pan with the sausage drippings, I'm gonna add in some boneless, skinless chicken thighs to sear. I've seasoned them with some Creole seasoning and I just wanna brown them on both sides. So I'll do about one minute per side until they're browned on both sides. We don't wanna cook it all the way through. We'll finish them in the gumbo. So once they've browned, go ahead, take them out, set them aside. Okay, go back, look at the title of this video. It is Creole Chicken and Sausage Gumbo. So, us Creole folks, we like a little bit of tomato. You don't need to add this in yours. I repeat, if you don't want it in your gumbo, don't add it. But I like to get some okra and tomatoes. And here I'm just cooking the slime out. You don't need a lot of okra. You don't need a lot of tomatoes. Again, if you don't want to use it, don't use it. Don't tell me about what your grandma and them put in that gumbo and what don't belong in. Listen, don't play with me in my comment section. If you don't like it, babies, just skip this part, okay? Now I got my Magnolite pot and to it, I'm going to add in the vegetable oil. Yeah, it is time to make that roux. So we're going to get that veggie oil good and hot. When the oil is hot, we want to start adding in our flour a little bit at a time, whisking while we pour it in. And we're going to do this on a medium high heat setting. Do not stop whisking and stirring, okay? Don't go answer your phone. Don't go look out of the window, okay? Keep this stuff moving. We don't want to burn our roux. Now, this is after a few minutes. It's a nice little peanut buttery color, but we need to keep going until we get to this rich, dark chocolate color. And no boo-boo, it is not burnt. You will know when it's burnt because you will smell it, but we need this nice, dark chocolatey roux. Now we add in the trinity. I have finely chopped onion, bell pepper, and celery. Sorry about the smoke. But that roux is so hot, I actually turned the stove off and I sauteed those veggies for like two minutes. Since they're so finely chopped, it won't take long. And no, my babies, this is not burnt. This is perfect. Trust me, okay? This is goodness. So once we have our veggies nice and tender, we're going to add in our okra and tomatoes. If you're using that, if not, don't play with me, just skip it. Okay, then add in your sausage and some good quality chicken stock or chicken broth and turn that heat back on so that we can get it going to a nice low boil. Now I like to add in my garlic, just a little bit. I didn't want to add it earlier into the roux because it was too hot. And what would happen? My garlic would burn and I don't have time for that. So give everything a nice stir. Add in the chicken. Don't chop it or anything. You can just add it in whole. Throw in a couple of bay leaves. Gonna turn the heat on low and then cover this with a lid and allow it to simmer for about one hour. During that hour, I like to come back and skim some of the grease off the top of the pot. So don't stir it, skim the grease off first. After that hour of simmering, now I can add in my onion and garlic powders and taste it. And if you need to add some Creole or Cajun seasoning, do that to taste. Give it a stir and now we're going to allow it to cook uncovered for an additional 30 minutes to an hour. When it's done, turn off the heat and fish out those bay leaves. Sprinkle just a little bit of this gumbo filet on top and stir it in. Not a lot because your gumbo will taste like a fish tank. Then cookies, it is time to eat. The recipe link will be down there in the description box. Don't forget your warm white rice. Gotta have that. Thank you so much for watching Cookies. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave it down there in the comment section. It's time for me to eat. So until next time, be blessed.